Hey everyone, I'm Sam Patel. And I'm Jesse Fidel, and you're, and you're watching, watching Inside, Inside the, the Bottle, Bottle TV. TV. So today uh, we're here at a traditional Vietnamese and Japanese restaurant called Ginza Town in Portland, Maine. Awesome joint, uh, just a few blocks down from our store. And so we decided to do an episode here and pair some sushi with some wine that Jessica and I picked out. Some delicious wine that pairs very well. Uh, and very so excited. I picked out the Wolf Trap, which is Viognier, 2010, the Wolf Trap. Viognier, uh, and also Chenin Blanc and Grenache Blanc. And these are three beautiful blends that go well together. It's South African wine. Jessica? And I have the Chateau Saint Michel. Uh, it's a Gewurz demeanor uh, from Columbia Valley, vintage 2013. And this is basically the big daddy of Moscato's. <laughs> so, uh, say Moscato's big brother. Uh, it's going to be delicious with the sushi. Uh, it definitely pairs well with ethnic cuisine and something that has a little bite to it, so it's going to be beautiful together. Yep, and so I'm a vegetarian, and Jessica has gotten the traditional type of sushi, so this is going to be a best of both worlds. Are we filming right now? Yeah. Oh, wow. We're in the game. We're in the game. So, yeah, I am kind of jealous. So, it looks like avocado on the top. Yeah, so this is actually the caterpillar, and I don't know if you can see, but it looks like a caterpillar. It's awesome. Uh, it's actually... Check, check out those designs on the back. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, it's an avocado that. wrap with a shrimp tempura inside. I cannot wait to dig into this. And what'd you get, Sam? This is the traditional vegetarian option that most people get that are vegetarian, which has cucumber and avocado slices in it, delicious with some ginger and wasabi. Yum. Yeah. So Jessica is new on the show. I am. This so is welcome uh, my to the first show. I want to give episode. you the formal welcome. So excited to be here. Yes. Sam's new cohort. He has no idea what he's in for right now. <laughs> no idea. No, well, Sam's gonna show me the ropes. Oh God, I haven't figured out the ropes myself. All right. So we will start with taking a bite of the sushi and then. Take a sip of the wine and then talk a little bit about the wines that Jessica and I picked out. Get inside our bottles. And get inside the bottle, yeah. Yeah. What? Right. How do I attack this? It's just so beautiful. I don't even know where to start. All so right. I, I eat lunch here quite often, so. Cheers, folks. Cheers. <laughs> oh, my mm. God. You have no idea what's happening inside my mouth right now. Oh. So good. The avocado is so creamy and the shrimp is absolutely perfect. But we're it's missing delicious. a sip of wine. Hello? Pour me a glass, Sam. Let's right, do here, this. We're going to start this right now. <laughs> All right. And so... Beautiful. Thank you. Chateau Saint Michel, 2013, Gewurz demeanor, which is from Washington, the Columbia Valley of Washington. And so there is that for you. And the Wolf Trap, which has the Stelvin enclosure, which I don't have to worry about opening the cork. Twist off. That's my that's yes. my kind of wine. So beautiful wine. Cheers. Cheers, Sam. Another bite before we get into this? Oh, I don't know if I can wait. All right, one more. All right. So you're into wasabi, Sam? You, you enjoy the wasabi? I like wasabi. Can you do this? Um, I'm a can you handle guy, the heat? traditional guy that likes the heat. So and I'm not absolutely. quite sure what this is on the side here. But I don't know, but it looks good. Mm. It's almost like an orange type of glaze. It's delicious. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's uh, try out some of our wine. This is 
is beautiful. It's sweet, it's crisp. Um, I'm getting some notes of apple, clove spice in there. Oh, yum. It's absolutely delicious. I'm So after the show, I'm bottle. going to grab a glass of that. Um, mine is also delicious. It is, uh, on the nose, I'm getting a uh, hard, you know, hard peach, some pear, some, definitely some minerality out of this. It's beautiful. So good. It just pairs so well with the sushi. Yeah. It's, it's delicious. It's amazing. It's I'm delicious. And so um, the Wolf Trap, why I chose it is because the acidity really balances my uh, particular type of sushi. Right. Which is the vegetarian type, you know, cucumber and avocado. Obviously, there's acidity there. And so, um, and with the wasabi and the ginger, obviously, it, it, it pairs extremely well. Uh, the Wolf Trap. Um, I'll get into the bottle and talk a little bit about the vineyard, which I've read up on here shortly, uh, and give you guys some really quick tips, uh, or just some quick um, talk on the farm itself in South Africa. It's from the Western Cape. Um, but I'm going to have to eat another roll. And so, Sorry, I'm already you, diving in. <laughs> what do you get in uh, Chateau Saint Michel? Well, I absolutely love it. It just pairs so nicely with this. Um, I think what's important for people to know um, about the Chateau Saint-Michel and the Gavus Aminer is that it's actually lower in acidity and higher in alcohol content than um, what you would get when you have a... Um, what am I thinking of, Sam? Sorry, I forgot my. my Maybe like a Moscato? Ma yeah, like Moscato. A traditional yeah, a, a, mm -hmm. tr a yeah. traditional Moscato or a Riesling. Yeah. So um, it's still sweet and it's really crisp, um, but it's taken to the next level. And this level is your first time having this, right? It is, actually. So, so I've had Chateau Saint Michel. Very, Michelle. very impressed with it. Yeah, I've had Gewurz Demeters before, and <laughs> I think that's the difference. And so when originally Jessica said it's like the Big Daddy's Moscato, I think. <laughs> I think that, you know, it's more complex, it's rich, um, you know, the alcohol content is going to be higher, making the acidity levels lower, it's more enjoyable, uh, but the complexity is going to bring out, like, more minerality, and uh, it's just going to be more rich, like, fulfillment for your palate. And, so, and it pairs so well with the sushi. Yeah. The combination's just, it's like a party in my mouth right now. It's, yeah. It's great. Yeah, and so with the Wolf Trap, let's get into the Wolf Trap. Um, this one's a little complicating. There's three different uh, three different grape varietals that are in here, Chenin Blanc, Grenache Blanc, and Viognier. Uh, they complement each other extremely well. Um, from the Western Cape, South Africa, which I originally had mentioned, yeah, it is really cool. And uh, these guys are, they, they have an awesome backstory. It's, it's, I, I don't want to butcher it, and I think that it's just, <laughs> like, you really need to know uh, the way that they put it in words when I was originally described, and so... So I what just, he means to say is Google it, okay? <laughs> yeah, Google it, and for the price, I, we sell it for five ninety nine. I mean, you may walk into your retailer that you go to, and you go and buy all of your wine from, you may find it for five ninety nine, six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Even if it's ten ninety nine, grab it because it's a steal. Um, it's worth it. Yeah, it's totally worth it, and it, it mixes really well with. It's drinkable really well with uh, food that has a bite, a nice bite, similar to the Gewurztraminer that you have. Um, but I do have a letter from the winemaker, uh, and I have it right here, and so I want to read that to you guys because it's extremely important. And so they wrote, when the farm was founded, and here goes the butchering, the Franschalk Valley was far wilder than it is today. As the wolf trap we once discovered goes to show, today the mountains are still alive with indigenous animals, including the majestic leopard. Uh, no evidence of wolves has ever been found though, so we created this wine to remind us of the mysteries and legends of days gone by. And I think that's super cool, um, you know, that we're sitting here in Portland, Maine, drinking a South African wine, and also one from the Columbia Valley in uh, Washington, so. Yeah. And it just goes so beautifully with our dinner. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm so happy right now. 
Yeah. <laughs> that looks delicious. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're gonna be jealous. I don't know if you can pay me enough to eat that. Um, but I will take another bite of this. And so, just to touch base a little bit uh, about the show, we're going to try to go out and do these episodes more. Right, Kyle? And, and so Kyle has recommended us to go out instead of doing the same episode in the same place. We want to make this fun for you guys. And also, you know, there may be some people that are watching that are out of this state. You know, friends of mine or friends of Jessica's or Kyle's or Jack's or Jake's and, and all the other J's that are part of this team. Um, right? Lots of J's. There are a lot there of J's. Right? There's you're like the outlier, Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that's cool. because you're Somebody's got to be the outlier. Exactly. <laughs> and so... <laughs> And so pay attention to our YouTube page every Thursday, 7 p.m. Yeah. We drop a new episode. And every single episode is going to be different. Going to try our best to make them different. Enjoy these episodes. And hopefully next time you guys are out eating sushi. Here. You'll be here, Ginza Town. Highly recommend. It's Take a awesome. flight out and uh, <laughs> come hang out with the team. Right. And uh, if you're lucky, Maybe we'll even pay for your flight. So stay tuned for that. Oh, yeah. Big baller. Well, I'm Jesse Bedell. And I'm Sam Patel. And, and our last names rhyme. Which is kind of cute, right? <laughs> yeah. And you're watching Inside the Bottle TV. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to our episode tonight. Again, we're at Ginza Town for staff in Portland. Uh, we hope to see you soon. Stay tuned. <laughs>